Topping our news at 530, Operation Relentless Pursuit. The top feds come to Detroit to step up the fight against crime. The new program will deploy federal money and manpower to seven major cities with the most violent crime. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live downtown with what this means for Detroit. Jim? that they're highlighting in this program will get $71 million and 400 new federal agents from the FBI, DEA, ATF, and U.S. Marshals. Under his leadership, I think this is unprecedented to have all of us gathered this way in one place at one time outside of D.C., and that by itself is a story because the violent crime epidemic that exists in many cities around this country impacts millions of Americans every day. Police Chief James Craig was at this big event and did not dispute the claim that Detroit is the most violent city. The other six getting this federal help are Memphis, Baltimore, Kansas City, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and Albuquerque. In a number of cities, it's a stubborn problem. Uh, as the chief just mentioned, there's been consistent progress uh, here in Detroit in recent years, but you're starting from a very high level. The feds say they already work well with their local partners, with task forces pooling resources, but call violent crime an epidemic. Police Chief James Craig talked with reporters after this event and gave us some insights. There wasn't a lot of details on what it looks like, but if we're getting additional agents deployed here in Detroit, and additional equipment, technology that can help us identify violent perpetrators quicker, that's a win for us. Now, you may have heard the feds sort of did a balancing act there. They didn't want to bash Detroit or Chief Craig. In fact, they credited him with what he's done with violent crime. Chief Craig's been in this town, in case you forgot, going on seven years. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thanks, Jim.